Sorry, love. that's my car. Give me the keys. Oh no, I couldn't. It's I want to sit in it. No, it's Come my on, car. Give me the keys. Stop, stop it, Adam. In there. Get off your own. Oh, you you we could be watching. There's plenty of other cars. There's plenty of other car showrooms. I'll sell you my car for 300 quid. Great. I'll get my husband. Uh, what are you talking about? I never touched that. No, 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 I mean hard work. Oh. I feel sorry for a husband. Oh, I take that she back walk you thought. My young wife says she'd like that car. I've seen you about, haven't I? Don't you sell loos? My husband owns the loo factory. Of course he does. <laughs> I'll pay £250 in cash. Sir, this is a fine looking motor car. You've got plenty of money. Can't you see you went to a fair price? £200. But you're rich. £150. Okay, all right. Oh, sold. You talk about bargain. Yes, he does. What was that? I said you certainly know how to bargain, sir. I'd like to have some money to... That's all I'm spending today, my dear. Like getting blood from a stone. You've lost another stone? Yes, dear. That's nice. She thinks I'm deaf. Hi, honey, I'm home. It's about time too. What time to call this? Have you seen the time? You never get back on time. It's high time you started getting back on time. Yes, dear. Well, never mind, yes, dear. Go and put the kettle on. I've been wanting a cup of for ages. You could have made your own. Don't be so cheeky. Have we got any biscuits left? I'll look for you. No biscuits. Please don't make me go to the shop. Lord knows what time you'd get back from the shop. Anyway, you know I'd never ask you to go to the shop just for me. <laughs> I'll just have the tea for now. Thank you, dear. Mm. Where have you been, anyway? I suppose you've been out with that priest again. He's no good. He's a bad influence on you. He's an honest man of the cloth. He's as honest as you are quick. <laughs> And he's the biggest flirt in this town. Not with me, he's not. 
Have you finished for the day? Yes, I have, I'm afraid. I've just taken the last confession. Oh, I was hoping for a quick one. Time will make it last. Anyway, what do you want to confess? Oh, my ex-husband. Ex-husband? Go on. Well, he's been seen with another woman. And, yes? Well, I needed to make a confession because I feel like slapping him. Well, my child, fear not. There will come a time when you're able to make a new life somewhere else. Oh, thanks, Rob. I knew you'd come through for me. And he flirts with all the young women. Aren't you? He's never flirted with me. Why do you think he's never flirted with me? I can't think of a single reason, dear. No, I must be short-sighted or something. Yes, dear. Oh, it's his wife I feel sorry for. Everybody talks about her behind her back. Go to the shops and get me some biscuits. Yes, dear. <laughs> oh, this house is too big for me. No, it's fine, honey. I need those 35 rooms to put my shoes in. Oh, you are funny. <laughs> no, you're being serious. Haven't you been in those rooms? Oh my, I, I suppose your feet are worth it. <laughs> Thank you for buying that car for me. Oh, you're welcome. I have another surprise for you. <gasps> Tell me, tell me. You know you wanted to see the world? Yes. Soon, dear, soon. Oh, honey, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you a drink? No thanks, I can buy my own. Oh no, you, you misunderstand. I work here. Oh yes, I'll have another sherry. But of course, my man. And then she stormed off in a half. <laughs> What's that in a new car? What? A half? Is it German? You are silly. Jack means she left in a strop. Oh, French then, was it? Forget it. Can I have a pint of the usual, please? Hello, Tom. You've been let out again. Would any of you like a gentle... <laughs> no, sorry. My English is not so good. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll have a gentle. I'll have an off. And the missus will have an orange juice. And for you, sir? Ooh, let me see. He'll have an off. Stop messing with the girl. He's not messing with me. Yet. Oh, I say fancy. You say what? Michael? Must remember to stop at the shops on the way home. You ever thought of leaving? I will. Let me finish my drink first. No, leave the wife. A handsome guy like you should have no trouble finding someone else. No, that wouldn't be right. Why not? Well, who would do things for her? Did you tell Michael about the thingy? Not yet, no. Did you hear? They're giving away free tours to London. I think it's a trick. I bet they want something in return. When? A few days' time. How long have you known? A week. Why didn't you tell me about this, Jack? Well, you know, the wife. Uh, she can't go. So you're not going then? <coughs> no, why don't you help the young lady with the drinks? Can you put it on the slate? It's going up now. You owe... Nearly 50 shillings. The Gov wants to start charging interest. Okay, uh, I'll pay next time. Um, Bye. I want to go. I'm just working out how to leave the missus at home. Oh right, so you still want to go but without the wife?
Your husband wants to go on the trip without you. Oh, like that, is it? Trying to leave the ball and chain at home. You want to watch him? Thank you. I will. And as for you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Our local mayor behaving like you haven't got a care in the world. Well, the local mayor has to look after the local pub. <laughs> I've seen him drinking till the wee hours of the morning. How wee? <laughs> He's been like this for years. What, drunk? No. Not a care in the world. How he ever got elected, I never know. That's because he let the French come over to this town to stay. Sorry, don't you want to have me? No. He's just talking about letting you stay here. Oh, I'm, I'm really grateful. I will look after you. I will take good care of you, member, and all you member. You know, uh, member, uh, the people, the people of the village. That is to say, I like you all very much. No, he's the local mayor. He's the one who let the French people stay. Oh, I understand. He is the one who wants me. No, for votes, he uses the French. I am really grateful. I will go with you to the bus stop. Uh, I will go to you to the back of the bus. Uh, I will come with you to the bus if it's okay for me to stay here. So, looks like we've got another one to go on a tour. <laughs> Disgusting! You two are just so horrid. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, dear. Oh, I must say you're looking particularly ravishing today. What time do you call this? Where on earth have you been? I've been at the church. I had a meeting with my social sex. Social sex? Oh, you and your flocking flock. Next you'll be thinking of Caesar. Well, I do like to think of myself as a bit of a leader, yes. <laughs> leader? I said Caesar. Julius Caesar. What's for dinner? Leftovers. Anyway, you've probably already eaten with one of your girlfriends. What's upset you this time, darling? No, no, nothing, dear. Just move aside. You're blocking my son. Oh, I've been spending money on you again. Go on. I bought us tickets for a trip to London. They were given away free. Well, not exactly. I did have to buy the newspaper to get them. Dipping your hand in the collection box again, I see. Oh, sorry, sir, we're closed. Oh, hello, Honky Tonk. I bought a car from you last week. Oh, that's what I like to see. Another happy, satisfied customer. Well, no, actually, it's broken down. Could have been the way he was driving it, sir. No, no. No, the engine sort of goes chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Very funny, see. I saw it at the cinema last year. Well, I tell you what, could I swap it for something else? Well, what would you like? Well, I don't know. Have you got something like an, an Edsel or, or, or what about a Skoda? A Skoda? Oh, yes, mate. I've got one of them down the back. I tell you what, it's even got a heated rear window so you can keep your hands warm while you push it. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's go and have a look and see what you've got up your back passage. Have you got a pink one? Shall we walk this way? Well, you can, love. I won't walk that way for the tea in China. Oh, you are a scream, darling. <laughs> well, you would like to come, wouldn't you? Well, if I don't come, who are you planning on taking? Uh, nobody, dear. Look, darling, you know you'll always be the love of my life. Well, I suppose I could come. Even if there are going to be lower class people on the tour. I don't like to think of them as lower class. They're all God's children. Children? It's not going to be smelly little children smelling of cabbage. Savage? Savage? Who are you calling a savage? They should be calling me a cave woman. Ugh. 
You are going to come though, aren't you? I just said I was coming, you fool of a man. Great. Yes, great. Great. Hand me that towel, please. Thanks. I got my route all worked out. Good. I'm going to sit all the girls up front. It's always better to be top-heavy girls with the men set further back. Why is that then? Well, I don't want any shenanigans on the tour. Oh, that's a bit unfair. I beg your pardon? They have to eat. Shenanigans for you means food. Yes, of course. My ex-husband's new girlfriend told me that word. She says we're getting shenanigans when we stop off. Oh, dear. Well, I think you should let them sit wherever they want. Look, it's your first time as a tour guide. Trust me, the men will sit up front with you and the rest of the girls. Oh, I don't mind. Well, I do. Before you know it, you lost your route. Oh, I know how to get there. I bet you do. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll see you tomorrow then. One last thing. There's a stranger over there in the bushes. Can you go and sort him out? I'll try. I mean, just shush him away. Don't want him scaring the passengers tomorrow. Oh, he looks like an homeless person. I'll go and have a word with him. Are you alright? Oh yeah, just admiring the view. Lovely bus, isn't she? Mm, oh yeah. We do tours and trips down memory lane, from the 40s. You going somewhere tomorrow then? Yes, off to London. It's a free tour for people. Can I go? No. Mm. You have to buy a paper and collect the coupons. Okay, I understand. Well, there might be some spaces tomorrow. Oh? If you stick around, I'll see if I can get you on the bus. I say, that's rather nice of you. Uh, I'll have to repay you somehow. <laughs> we'll see. Hello. We're looking for a little car for the wife. <laughs> what budget did you have in mind? Be careful. Why be careful? Oh, oh never mind. Wow, well, look at this. Well, oh, go on. Crying out loud. He sold a car to Mr. Jones on the 25th, and on the 27th it broke down. <gasps> That's not true. It broke on the 28th. OK, thanks. I think we've heard enough. Oh, you're going to put me out of business. Yes, thank you. I think we'll go to the car credit place around the corner. <laughs> I wouldn't if I were you. Oh? Where do you suggest we buy a car Oh, from? this is just not fair. I think you should go to London. Mm -hmm. I've heard they sell really cheap cars there. And if you buy the paper, they're giving away free tickets for a tour to London. Ooh! Oh, this is great. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Daylight robbery. Oh. <laughs> I'm going in the pub for a quick one. Oh, those were the days. You coming? I'll stay for one drink. Okay. But maybe you could leave me with a little extra so I could get another few drinks. A little extra what? You know how I get when I'm thirsty? I drink like a fish. You want water from me? No, honey. Just say about ten pounds, so I'm not thirsty anymore. Ten pounds? Good God, woman. I'm not made of money. Oh, honey. You know I'll make it up to you. Okay. You can clean the car tomorrow, then. Okay. So I told the couple go to London. Oh, they be Frank's my friend. You'll put him out of business. Would you like anything? I'll have a large, please. Mm -hmm. Still can't get much from him. I think it's wrong. You only married him for his money. No, not just his money. His house, his car. If I'm lucky, I'll get his business too. I think it's cruel. He seems such a nice man. Oh, he's not. I think he's smarter than he lets on. Mm, I'll have a double. I will put it on his tab. <laughs> Keep an eye on my wife, will you? 
Really? Make sure she doesn't get drunk. Oh. We're going to London tomorrow. Free trip? I'm going there as well. Oh, finally things are looking up. I don't think it's going to rain tomorrow. Well, I hope not. I spent a fortune on these new shoes. Yes, you did, didn't you, dear? Straight from the church. Need to get up early. If I don't get any sleep tonight, I'll sleep on the tour tomorrow. You're, you're not coming, are you? Oh, yes. I need to keep up with all the gossip. What do you want? Oh, I'll have to give you a little bit of butter, please. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> um, nah, just uh, Guinness, thanks. Mm -hmm. Maybe told me what she had done to you. Yeah, not very nice, like, wasn't it? She's going on the tour. Oh, nah. So am I. You've got an idea. I don't want any part of this. Well, if she don't get much uh, sleep, then she'll uh, sleep on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I should suggest such a thing, but uh, you know she doesn't like cats. Oh, you lot. Well, one big fairy cat coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Now remember Liz, we need to take control of the passengers at all times. Don't let them try anything on. Oh, I won't. <laughs> Hello. Here comes someone now. This is the trip to London. Yes, have you got a ticket? Yeah, sure. Can I sit in here? Not yet, sir. We have to wait for the others to turn up. Hurry up! The uh, bus will leave without us! I'm going as fast as I can! Oh. Stop pulling! Oh, Party for two? Oh no, your wife won't approve. No, we're the party of two for the trip. <sighs> Silly woman, I've got my eye on you. Don't mind her, she thinks everyone fancies a bit. <sighs> Which bit made a lot of you? <laughs> my Tom used to be the champion of swimming. Oh yeah? Fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Hello. See, I take it to all the best places. Free trip to London wasn't what I had in mind when I said I wanted to see the world. But the price was right. Hello. <laughs> Is this the common tour? For common people? Shh, darling, some of these people might be in my flock. Hello. This is the tour to London. Do you have your tickets? Yes, we do. But I prefer to sit on my own, if that's OK. You'll have to wait and see how many others turn up. What exactly is the catch? No catch? Well, no catch. No catch. Yes, Wayne. Hi, Red. Morning. Morning. Hello. 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 Welcome. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. That way, madam. Stop looking at her. Who? Well, if you ain't, do you mind if I do, love? Oh, honestly, I, I've never seen her before. Oh, Tom! Is this your <laughs> wife? I thought you said you'd never met her. Oh, my. You OK? Didn't get much sleep last night. Why? Get big thing it was. Jumped on my chest. Scared the living daylights out of me. Oh, sorry I asked. Huge it was. I've never seen a cat like it. Oh, kept me awake. No! No! Do you know what? I could swear I heard it laughing at me after I'd chased it out into the garden. Meow! No! <laughs> I'll never leave my window open again. <laughs> You know, it sounded just like that. Yeah. <clears throat> now, how long is it going to take? 
We'll leave when everyone else has turned up. No, no, the trip. Oh, it'll take about three hours. Hello, ticket please. Thank you. Well, we'll be stopping off to get some shenanigans. Oh, yeah. I'll have some of that, love. If uh. you haven't got any of your own, you can have some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Hello, you made out for the bar. Hello, Yeah, you'll really enjoy it. I'll show you all the sights up there. Big fan. Yeah, big fan. Can anyone help me up? With my husband? Come in after you, darling. No, 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 after you. Oh, bye. Right. Hello everybody! Hello. Hello! Thank you for choosing Ages Past Tours. Choosing? It were free! We normally do tours cheaper than anybody else and we specialise in the 40s to 60s eras. I thought she was going to say 40 to 60 years old. I was just about to get off the bus. Oh, don't be silly. We'll be stopping off twice for breaks and the loo. Does she want my toilet? No, honey. She was talking about taking a break. Oh, all right then. But have one of those then. I'll introduce you to the driver. His name's Alan. And if you feel the need to tip him, we've got a couple of large jugs no, up front. I didn't bring any monies. It's okay, I'll help you out. Oh, you truly are a wonderful man. I'd just like to say, we hope you have a great tour with us and Liz will show anything of interest. Off we go then! Yay! Oh, is it this exciting? I'm Sarah, what's your name? It's uh, Neil. Oh, sitting here makes me want some... Crumpet! You were always hungry. You'll have to wait till we take a break. Haven't you got any? Nickers are in the bag. Now don't lose it. No, dear. I've also remembered to bring the camera in case you want... Nude places? Well, if there is, I'm staying on the bus. London's not like that. What about you? I really can't say. It's a boring job. Tell me more about your... Boobies. I always make boobies in England. Mistakes. You make mistakes. Boobies are for... <sighs> And if they've got one, I'll have the biggest one. With a flake and nuts. Ooh, and if I've got any sir, spare change, I'll pay for a... Blonde woman. Seems a bit strange. What do you mean? Well, I heard her talking in a funny accent. Maybe she's one of those clowns, you know, in the circus. But they moved on and I was left homeless. Oh, can't say I'm sorry to hear that. That old clown thing is really scary to me. We should send them all back to Poland or somewhere. <laughs> food! A place for food! Please exit the bus calmly.
you have to go behind the bushes, I'm afraid. This is the little boys' room, and this is for the ladies. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to the men's room. Hello. Hello, Bacaccia. I was just wondering if you wouldn't mind helping me. Well, of course, but I've never asked you. What do you do for a living? Do you have any money? Me? I have some. Have you got it tucked away? No. <laughs> no please, no, my wife. No. Oh, I'm not your wife. Please, it's English, no, you won't stop. <laughs> How much you got? <laughs> she doesn't deserve a man like you. How'd you make your millions? I haven't got millions. Well, thousands then. Five pounds and sixpence. How dare you take advantage of me! How could you do this to me? You can't have me there and all the years I've given to you and everything! I hope that Libby falls asleep on the bus. Oh, I saw her early and she really looked like she was fucking dropping off. Good. Yeah, sit in too. They were the customers. Until she put them off, told them to go to London. Ooh. Well, well, don't no, no, worry, Frank. Why? Well, when she falls asleep, yeah. and then you go over yeah. and for, for, for formulate a plan. Yeah. Hello, I, I'm Jeff, and this is Sonia. Hello, I'm Alan. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> um, I noticed that you took the A432 road. Yes, it's, um, I think the map needs to be updated. Well, I'm working on, um, we're working on some new technology that might be able to help. Oh, I'm no good with that. No, it's easy. It's just this box and, and you put it in a car or, or a bus and it shows you the way to go. I call it, a, we call it, State Nave. State nav? Yes, we're trying to sell it to the army. It would really help them going round all their different countries and things. Well, all sounds a bit high tech to me. I wish you lots of luck. Oh. It might be worth talking to Mr. Rossa. Oh? Why? What does he do? Oh, Luz. He's quite rich. <gasps> it could be worth talking to him. Oh, and which one was he again? Oh, oh thanks. Come on, Jeff, let's go. All right, Bryn. Lost your wallet, have you? Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's there somewhere. Yes. Um, can I interest you in, in investing in some new technology? Uh, is, it, is it a crapper? No, it's it's good. Now, is it to do with lose? No, it's to do with driving. Oh, oh well. No, I, I don't think so. I heard him trying to sell it to the bus driver before. Really? Yeah, I did. Come on, oh. leave him. Right. Oh. I don't think I like her very much. I've heard you speak English with an accent étranger. Parlez-vous le français? Maybe it was another accent. Do you come from somewhere? Oh, no, I'm British. Born in Hounslow. Oh, sorry. It's just when you talk, it sounds a little... Well... Maybe Russian? Don't worry, my child. Everyone has a purpose on this planet. But I was just trying to be nice. Well, if you want to be nice, perhaps you can help me with some French lessons. Maybe. Are you a beginner? Not quite. I always had trouble getting my tongue around their arse. Ah, you mean like when Edith Piaf sings Non, je ne regrette rien. <laughs> You seem a sweet child. Do you go to church? At it again, are we? 
No, I'm just trying to make sure everyone's happy. Well, I wish you'd make me... Darling, I do try. Now, let's get back on the bus. No, dear, just rest in my eyes. Well, they better not be on over in front. Wait, we weren't someone over? No, it was a concrete pump in the road. Where, where are we? We are going to make a quick stop. Hey, you, what's going on? Excuse me, miss. Do you speak English? Yes. Where are we? The park. What park? This one. What's it called? The park. No, which town's this park in? Richmond. England? Of course. Oh, very funny. What's funny? Well, where's the wedding? I'm not doing weddings today. This is a free tour to London. So it's still England, is it? Of course. No. What? What year is it? What year do you think it is? It should be 1969. I see. It is still 1969. No, it's 2009. What? what? This is crazy. What is? This is crazy. What is? This is nuts. What, what is? is? Before we say what has happened, does anyone have heart trouble? <gasps> well, from what we can tell, we're still in England. Oh, thank God for that. But we are in the year 2000. This is your fault. What did you touch? <laughs> is that why all the clothes look nice? Dear, you're worrying about clothes. We've got to get back. When in Rome. It's you. The 69ers. There was a story going around that a busload of people went missing in 1969. You need to come back to my workplace. Why? I'm a lecturer in advanced quantum mechanics. What's that mean then? Time travel. No one gets off this bus. The whole timeline could be ripped apart. I want to explore and see the men. No, you have to stay together. I've got shares in Northern Rock. It must be worth a fortune. We need to walk on foot. Let's find a hotel. Not now. It's too exciting. No, no. Not that. For somewhere to stay. Look, I think there's one over there. Don't look much. Well, it can't be expensive.
I'll pay for everyone. Oh, oh thanks, Bryn. Thank Cheers. Thanks very much. Bryn's paying. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Bryn. I was wondering if I could. Not now, dear. Hello. Welcome to Pink's. Oh, uh, do you have any rooms? Yes, but we don't take old bags in here. We haven't got any bags. <laughs> wow, I could name a few. Are you all together? Not really, but uh, I'll pay for you. Would be your pleasure. Oh, nothing fancy. Hey, I'll have a room. Oh, yeah, I have a room. Calm down. One at a time. It's the motto here. Oh, let money bags speak first. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you want a private viewing room? Yeah. That sounds fine. Is your wife going to be with you? Oh, yes. Have you ever worked in a place like this? We could use someone like you. Can you dance? Oh, I don't need the money. The offer's there if you want it. Now, that will be... £600 for your guests. What? Oh, six yeah, I, I want a room with inside bathing, thanks. Large or skinny? Uh, well, one that has it on tap. <laughs> They're always on tap. Oh, make that a large bed. Frank, you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> I think we're in a gentleman's club. <gasps> it looks like that. Really? What is a gentleman's club anyway? Oh, you know, that's where they pay for... Tom, we're leaving! I'd like to stay. Of course. Rude with you. No, I bet they have, but we're not staying another second. <laughs> Where's the Russian embassy from here? London. I've just heard you've got some job vacancies. I'm very good with my hands. Oh, yes, she is. Sorry, no job vacancies. Oh, the cheek of it. In my day, I'd have been top billing in 1969. Don't you worry, Sarah. Let's go and get a drink. Come on, yeah, let's get up on. Come on, see it. to our relatives. They're fine, don't worry about them. Can we see them? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'm confused. No change there. If we came from the past, but now we're here, how do we have kids? Well, it starts with a hello, do you fancy a drink, then back to her place for good night in with the telly off. Jack, <laughs> it's simple really. It is? Yeah, but it's too complicated to explain. Don't you want to go and wait over there? I need to make a phone call. Just to make a phone call from a handbag. Now that's very enterprising. This is old money. Let me go and see if this is okay to use. Go around the back where the girls are and sit down for a minute. Hmm. I think we should stay here. You know the Lord would want to keep us safe. Oh, like that, is it? What, dear? Hello. Shall we stay here a minute then? Well, I think I'd need more than a minute, love. <laughs> yeah, actually, 
I think I could do with a stiff drink. I'll join you. Really? <laughs> it really has. <laughs> Tracy, I've got the 69ers. It's true. Meet me at the park bench, you know which one. I know fancy something. Yes, I'm a little peckish. I might see if you have something I can have. Don't go too far away. This is a strange place. Oh, I first think we have left maybe on the bus. And what's your point? <laughs> I think that's mean. It would have been meaner to bring her along. The pair of you, be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> well, I'm not, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't wait to get back to our time. Well, I was, I was thinking about going to the council and asking them to house me. Don't be silly. Councils don't give houses to just anyone, even if you are from the past. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess you're right. Hello, I'm Neil Neil. Hello Neil, my name's Taryn. <laughs> uh, do, do you know much about us? No, only what I've seen in the papers. Oh, I think I've got a little problem. What's that then Neil? I will have the gas on. That was a long time ago, Neil. I wouldn't worry about that now. <laughs> oh, right. I first thought they might send me a bill. Well, they might if they know you're here. Oh. I'm worried the other group will end up in trouble. It's all right, they can look after themselves. Yeah, Karen's looking after them. <laughs> the mother hen looking after little chicks. They might not make it to London. I wonder who the mayor of London is. Whoever it is, Michael, he can't be as good as you. Yeah, no one lets foreigners in like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to protect Liz. Oh? He's OK, Alan. Well, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's OK. Well, I'm OK. It's my first time as a tour guide. You're doing a great job. You can take me anywhere, anytime. Oh. <laughs> It's amazing how I am here. What did I do to deserve it? Don't worry, I'll get you home. Oh no, I don't want to go back to France. I want to make a new wife. Life. Yes, that is what I mean. I am looking for a port. Paul? Yes, you know, a place where I can find a port. A passport? Yes, I really want one of those. Play your cards right, you're in there. Oh no, I, I couldn't take advantage. I could. No, me too. Oh la la. Oh la la la. <laughs> Quick, we'd better run. Why? It's the press. They found out that you've got the 69ers. They've been following me. Why is that a bad thing? Trust me, you don't want the paparazzi after you. They'll hunt you down. They'll do anything to take a picture of you. Sounds fine to me. <laughs> if they try and take photos of me, I'll... You're what? I'll take photos of them. Great plan, you silly. Don't worry about her. We can make a new life here. In this club? Oh, don't be daft. Don't you be getting any funny ideas then? No, of, of, of course not. But there was some interesting stuff outside. I'll, I'll just be a minute. Hi, we're from 1969. Can I take a look at that? If you want that, it'll cost you. But I only want to take a look. Go back inside, a girl will be out soon. But she won't have one of those. Oh, you mean the mobile phone? Uh, yeah, if that's what it's called. You really are the 69ers. So this is a phone? Where does it plug in? Go stand outside and I'll call you on it. Press that button when you hear it ring. Oh, thanks. Thanks so very much.
<laughs> yeah. I'll show you what it's like to be a girl. <laughs> Sixty-nine is for twelve thousand. More leg. <laughs> Sarah, go on. No, too drunk. Actress said to the bishop, you Are you a vigor? Yeah. <laughs> Been one since before you were born. <laughs> Is it true you guys are the 69ers? Our own dances here. I haven't seen any yet. Well, they ain't coming out until you lot have calmed down. Frank, Frank, I've got to go. Breathe. Have you seen my husband? He's just popped outside. What's wrong with him? No, no, he's just gone outside to find something. We normally get the men coming in, not going out. I'm just going to the Russian Embassy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're one locked us out! I'm sure they haven't done that on purpose. Oh, I don't know. Did you see, see the way that woman looked at me, you know? The more modern one. We'll be safe here for a little while. Look at them, they're like a bunch of wild animals. <gasps> Beam me up. Let's look at the news on TV and see what they know. Five minutes to come on, we did it. It didn't have to be It's alright, all right. they're all consenting to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that is Jane and Jane. To HMTV. For those of you that don't know, these are the 69ers. They were on a bus in 1969, some 40 years ago. Is that right? Well, today, really. Yes, to you, it was that long ago. Can I just say something? Are we live? Yes, we are. Sonia, sorry, they grabbed me outside the club. Well, anyway, can you tell us what exactly happened? The bald eagle has landed. I'm sorry. Uh, nothing. It all started when we were on the bus. We, the 20 or so people. Yes, we were on a tour towards London. 
Suddenly, we all ended up here, this year. What could have caused this at the time travel? Well, the public view on the missing bus was that you all went off to another country. This is the first we knew about time travel. Well, time travel or not, I'm going to be late for my supper. Tom, go out and get me something. Uh, yes, dear. Tom, is it? You just sit down. We have people that will get you whatever you want. Oh. Really? <laughs> I'd like it. Shush, shush, shush. Don't you be telling all the people at home what you want. Yes, dear. Can you tell me? What went through your minds when you time travelled? I was thinking that they could have put a charge on, on the busy roads. War. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, Afghanic. You know, till death is too far. Steak and kidney. Divorce. What? N not us, dear. Oh. Hello. The priest and his wife. Oh, yes. Very strange couple. Was the bus modified in any way? Where is the bus? Well, uh, the bus looked normal to us. Yeah, um, not sure where the bus is now, uh, but some of them stayed on it. Yeah. 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 Well, well, this isn't it. We, we, we have to pass the bear bench. Let's ask someone. How are they going to know where the bear bus is? No, silly. Where the bench is. Oh, oh look. There's someone. Ask it. Hey. Don't, don't tell her we, you know, we, we, we weirdos. Excuse me, miss. We're not weirdos. Is that okay? We're looking for a park bench, the one we sat on. Do you know where that is? You're a nutter. Oh no, a 69er. Bye. Has Russia really stopped making weapons? I would have thought you would have hundreds of other questions to ask. She's a spy. A spy? How dare you? Whatever makes you think that? I've been watching you. I don't know what you think you've seen. Please don't fight. Go on. What? Go on with the question. Oh. One of you is a descendant of Billy the Kid. That's me. My dad's dad's dad was Billy. Yeah. My Tom's ever so fast with a gun. <laughs> He'd need to be to survive. That's what oh. first attracted me to him. Oh, just look at him. What a man. <laughs> oh, is there the, is, is the, this the place? Oh, I think it might be. No, no, it can't be. Well, why? Those people weren't there before. I think we should have stayed at the gentleman's club. The gentleman's club? Yeah, we all went in thinking it was a hotel. Oh, honest. Did all the 69ers stay there? Some, and they're probably still there having a better time than us. Oh, you chicken so and so. Oh, Ziffle, back me up. I'll, I'll beg your pardon. Oh, it was safe for staying with a group. I need to ask you all to stay here. The armed forces need to ask you some questions. <laughs> oh, not likely. Here, come on. The armed Horses. I'm not staying here to talk to no one from the army. Come on, Tom, I'll go and find the bus. There you have it, an exclusive with the 69ers. We have to get them back. I know, they're a real pain. No, straighten out the timeline. We don't even know how they got here. Where's the driver? Hello, hello, which one of you was the driver? What were you doing when you came here? Nothing, we just went under a bridge. A train bridge? No, 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 it's bigger than that. Why? Well, if it encompassed the bus, it must have an energy field around it. You're right. But the bus must have something different. There must be something radioactive or highly charged on board. Bring it, heaven! Of course it is! Cheese easy, leave, please. Uh. Let's go and check out the shops! <laughs> You haven't got any modern money. I'll use woman power. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they took us and, and and then wanted to keep us for the army. I know. Is my Sonia on missing though? Oh, she'll be okay. She's a tough woman. Oh yeah. Nothing upsets her. <laughs> Do you see 
Hey Tom, do you see what happens when you get these ideas? It's not my fault. I didn't know we'd end up here. Well, if I'd have known this was going to happen, I'd have taken the tour to Skorana City. The cowboy place? No, you wouldn't have. You hate cowboys. Well, it would have been better than being humiliated on the tooth. I've still got that woman's phone. If we go back in time and then forward, I'll give it back to her. Where's the bus? Which way is it to the bus? Where, where, where on earth is the bus? I don't know where the bus is. What do you do for a living, my dear? Oh, me? Oh, I'm a model. You know, like Twiggy. Mm. I don't think there's much call for people like me in this day and age, though. You know that woman in the club? She made me think that they only want skinny models nowadays. Oh, don't, don't worry. I think you look fine. Oh, thanks. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> Hmm. How long you two been married, anyway? Oh, not long, but a year. Oh, right. Where'd you meet? Michelle was uh, going out with a rich friend of mine, and then she found out that I was uh, richer than he is, and he came. she came over to me. But that's wrong. She's only waiting for your money. Oh, it's all right. We both use each other. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're worried about your husband, aren't you? Jeff, is it? Yes. Yes, he's Jeff and mine him Sonia. Oh, I'm Frank. Don't worry, he's probably gone back to the bus. I hope so. Oh, don't cry. We know where the bus is. Oh. Yeah. Which way to the bus? Gabby, she's upset about her husband. I think we're lost. Oh, well, he's probably gone back to the bus and he's, he's with Jane and the other couple. You're yeah. right. <laughs> no, Jeff left first. He'll be on his own now. <laughs> well, okay, he's a big boy. He can deal with it. <laughs> yes, he is. He'll be okay. He'll be Frank, good Lord, I've just been reading this newspaper. It seems that knife and gun crime has gone through the roof. <laughs> It'll be okay. Look, I'll tell you what. Let's all go back to the bus, eh? Fast. Oh, listen, listen. Are you going to leave your wife? Not yet. Wait till we get back to our own time. <gasps> well, when you do, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Look at him. He's at it again. <laughs> He's a rascal, isn't he? Well, I'm not putting up with it anymore. No. You stick with me. Yes, I think I will. Our bus just over the side of them trees. I'll be glad to get home. Tired. Tired? Oh, you're useless. No backbone. Yeah, but maybe he hasn't had his time. Time to do what? You know, it's time to prove himself. Prove himself? <laughs> the only thing he can prove is that he's useless. No, Jane's right. Sometimes in a man's life you man? have to. <laughs> he's not a man. I know he's got big muscles, but... Cough, I'm right here. I know. Shh. I'm talking about you, not to you. I might be this great man. A man with honour. A man the world will look up to. A man with the bravery of a thousand warriors. A man whose mind can cure the common cold. Yeah. A man that can <laughs> achieve... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. No. My time will come. Uh, okay. <laughs> Brave man. <laughs> oh, you made yourself a little silly. <laughs> Sorry, dear. I won't stick up for myself in future. Oh, that's all right, dear. You don't have to prove yourself to me. I love you just the way you are. Oh, good. The bus is still here. Where's the driver? Oh look, there's Libby asleep on the bus. Let's see if we can wake her. Oh, Libby! <laughs> Libby! <laughs> look, there's the others. What's happened to us? So we've been in a TV studio and they was interviewing us. And she's a spy. No, I won't take the note.
Hey, looks like we're one short now. I'll save her. Hey, looks like we're two short. Oh. Right, who's going to help him get her back? Well, they've taken her to military headquarters. He'll never get her back. I'll help. I'll help too. Me too. I'll do the washing up. I'll chat to the guards. Oh. To distract them. Oh. Where were you? Well, we were taken to a TV station and, and put on live TV. Oh, I hope you had clean underpants on. They know the bus is here. You're going to have to hurry. Well, well, what's the plan? Well, it all sounds like a lot of hard work to me. I'll help. No, you won't. Yes, yes, I will. Oh, I'm going to help. Oh, uh, well, do be careful, dear. <laughs> Looks like he's found his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I must talk to Bryn again about some of our inventions. Ooh. The portable loo. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, the plan? Oh. Right, Taryn, which way is it? Oh, I mean, it's not far. Some of you go with Tracy around the back of the barracks and some of you come with me. I've got an idea. Oh. What is it? Well, if we do go back in time, we could put some stuff to help us in the back of the bus. Well, that won't work because you'll already be missing. And if you're not missing in the past, then you won't be here in the future. Ah, but we are here. So as long as we remember to put stuff in the back when we get back it should be here but i helped pack the trunk and i didn't see anything <sighs> that was before we decided to put stuff in there <laughs> yeah come on top <laughs> oh, did you pack that no oh that rope might help well this means that you do rescue the girl and go back in time <gasps> There's a note in here. You've messed the timeline up, but it doesn't matter now. We're all happy here. Sign Taryn. <gasps> Me, but I've not written a note. Oh, not yet, but you might just before we leave. Well, we have to go now. Uh, uh, can we be called the A, -A, -A team? Oh, you are the A team. Have we got time for some quick shenanigans? <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> no time for food. We're on a rescue mission. Come on, come on. So what's the plan? Sophie, Liz and I will distract them. No, 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 no. We're the ones that are looking for. Oh. Look, you just leave this to me, okay? Attention! Commander Jaquelin. Oh, look at the state of you. Sorry, sir. Well, do yourself up. They've captured one of the 69ers. Yes, sir! They've taken her to the uh, usual room. Yes, sir. Remind me again, which room is it? Building one, block D, room R, sir. Room D, block R. Well, straighten your backs up. Come on, I've got some VIPs coming along in a minute. Can't have you looking rough. Yes, yes sir, yes. yes!
Well done, soldiers. Oh, I shall be uh, recommending you for promotion to Harold Wilson. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. Right, well, carry on. Yes. Yes, sir, yes. Yes. Which one is a spy? No, I won't tell you. You're going to have to talk to me. What? You're going to have to talk to me. You're going to have to force me to tell you. Do I have to spell it out? I must be doing something wrong nowadays. I don't want to go any further. Let's wait here till they get back with Gabby. What my wife wants, my wife gets. Oh! I've just been informed about the location of your bus. I'm going to send a tank to blow it up. No, you can't. Unless you tell me everything I need. What exactly would you like me to tell you? About how you got here. Well, you grabbed me, you fool. No, I mean how you arrived here from 1969. I have no idea how I got here. I've just seen some of you a lot on TV. Hmm. But it was my husband trying to get in on the limelight. Yeah, tell me about your husband. He's the priest, isn't he? Yes, but the way he acts, you'd hardly know it. So who's been driving this bus? Our file was telling me it's some guy called Alan. I don't know. Some lower-class riffraff. Do you know, you're you're doing yourself no favours like this. You're going to find yourself locked up and experimented on. Oh, really? Tell me more. Watch this. I saw Norman Wisdom do this. You're not gonna sing. Watch. Left, right, left, right, about this. My turn. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down? No, that's not it. Lay down, play dead. Oh, that's just silly. They'll know we're messing about now. Right, my turn. Stand up and let's go for some shenanigans. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Look, there's a building we need. Keep as low to the ground as you can. Let's go. So, are you going to let me go then? Oh, I'm going to keep you here. See if your husband comes looking for you. <laughs> That'll probably be the last thing on his mind. In which case I'll go and look for them. I'm going to go then. I'll, I'll go and get your husband. We'll torture him. We'll... I'm going. Well then just do it then you fool of a man. Honey? Yes? When we get back to 1969... Yes? Can I work in your loo factory? <laughs> <laughs> no, really? <laughs> Thank you.
because this was very funny. <laughs> no, that was an accident. Of course it was. <laughs> Sit down, someone might come in. We'll just wait a minute here while they pass. This future is scary stuff. It's far too busy here. There's too many cars. And rules. Shh, I'm trying to watch this. What? I'm trying to watch this film. What is it? I think it said free showing of something park. need a weapon. We don't hurt anyone. Why not? They'll hurt us. They could be our relatives. Just don't ask that man. Duck! I can't see a duck. Get down. Oh, for crying out loud. What, have you lost them then? Yes. Well, no. Um, basically, they're going to break in to try and rescue you. When they see you're free, they go back to the bus, won't they? All right. Fun time, Gabby. Let's go. Oh. Hello? It's not real. It's computer generated. But how can you be sure it's not real? And what is a computer? That's appalling. Just like that man. Oh, this is horrible. I can't believe they brought dinosaurs back to life. That one looks like your mother, dear. Is it clear now? If we can't get past one guard, how are we going to get past loads of them? Don't look at me. I mean, this may be my time, but I'm no Jack Bauer. Do you think they saw us? Brontosaurus. This is really great. Just look at the colour. It looks so real. I wonder if there's any way I can take anything back. You mean steel? Not really. Um, I'll borrow it, and when we reach 2008, I'll give it back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Liz to get hurt. 
Is she your wife? Oh no, she's a friend's daughter. I said I'd give her a job. Last time she'll work for you. Even though I'm a busy man, I'm going to help you with your English, make it better, and um, you can help me with my French. Oh, you're such a kind man. It's a good idea. Yeah, I sort out some correspondence. So you write to me in English? Yeah. Is this a film with Raquel in it? No, that's a million years BC. We're not that old. Oi! Who gave you permission to look at my dinosaurs? If you don't get out soon, you'll be the megasaur ass root. Go on, get out of it. Oh, that's right. There was something I had to tell you. What's that then? I'm the army man. He said something about they're planning to blow up the bus. Oh, right. Crikey! They're going to blow up the bus! This way. No, it's this way. I'm the driver. I say this way. Yeah, and it was your driving that got us in this mess. Wait, look, it's this way. and rescue me. I'm sorry, dearest. I did try. I missed you. I've only been gone an hour. Yes, but in that short time, I came to realise it's you that I want. Hmm, well... I've seen the error of my ways. Henceforth, I won't so much as even look at another woman. OK, well, whatever. Anyway, let's just go and get back on the bus. I love you. Look me in the eyes. I love you. They will take you. Quick, get on. I'll drop you before the bridge. I'm really impressed with you. I knew I had it in me. <laughs> You're a real man's man. <laughs> <laughs> All those years at Russian nuclear test site was for nothing. Nuclear? She's the catalyst. What? She's radioactive. You're the reason this bus went through time. Am I in danger? No, you probably were exposed to more radiation in our time than in the test site. You'll have to stay. It's the Lord's way. I can't. I've got a nice note with sun nav and tinted windows. She'll have to stay. We've got no choice. All this effect is going back, though. I mean, if we've got more people on the bus. Stay! Put your foot down!
I'm fine. <laughs> hey, bad girl. We're fine. That was fun. Let's do it again. Someone's coming over. Don't open the door. Oh, well, this is just typical. What? I was better off homeless. I'll go out there. <gasps> Hello, you speak English? We're travellers, we mean no harm. Are you packing? What year is this? Oh, not very friendly. Do you speak my language? Are we around 1880? That's close enough. Oh, I've got that right. Yeah. No, don't you come any closer. Oh. Oh, let's forget this and get back on the bus. No, the wheels have been damaged. So what are you saying there, eh? We're stuck here till we repair the bus. I'll stay. Are you sure they don't use toilet paper in this era? Do you know Billy the Kid? Oh. The Kid? You asking for the kid? He's my great, great, oh, great. They won't understand that. I mean, they're gonna probably lock us up. Well, I think he's just plain rude. I'll get you the kid. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. Come on, Tom, we're going. I didn't sign up for this. I feel I'm home. Ah!